Well, hello and good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to another edition of the College Sports Report here on E Radio WMCR. I am your host once again, Brandon Buckner. It's only been one show, and already we have seen some incredible college athletes show off their potential, as well as some former University of Maryland players being inducted and being enshrined into the College Sports Hall of Fame. We also had some retirement news about former voice of the Raptors at Montgomery College, Michael Brown. What will I have in store for you this week on this week's edition of the College Sports Report? Well, let's take a look. To begin, we're taking a look at former lacrosse defender and team captain Katie Fumfrey, a University of Maryland student. So, a little background story on her. So, having a special people close to her in life has always been a priority for former Maryland women's lacrosse defender and team captain Katie Fumfrey. The Serenia Park, Maryland native grew up with her younger sister Emily and her parents Anne and Michael, who both graduated from the University of Maryland. As a three-sport athlete at Serenia Park High School, lacrosse seemed to always stick out through Fumfrey, as she was an honorable, honorable mention All-American as a high school junior and a first team All-American as a senior. Her success at a high school just about an hour away from College Park gained the attention of her parents' alma mater. Legendary lacrosse coach Cindy Tmeikle was at the helm of the Terrapins at the time when she was invited from free on an official visit. She said, My first impression of Maryland was the camaraderie shared by the team, and I finally remember thinking that I had found my people, from free said. She also says, I remember meeting women who had a variety of interests and passions, but were able to come together every day to work towards their common goal of doing their best on the lacrosse field. She also says, I have so many fond memories from my time at Maryland because of the amazing people that I was surrounded by. From coaches to teammates, I was supported and valued every day. I was able to work towards a common goal with a group of women who challenged each other to do their best and every day on the lacrosse field was a lesson on how to be a team player and leader. This experience was priceless. So the morning after her official visit, Fumfrey along with her mom met Tamiko for breakfast and she committed to become and she committed to becoming a Terrafin, which changed her life forever, opening up so many opportunities. She said, When I started at Maryland, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and quickly discovered that I was interested in both the humanities and sciences, she said. I was fortunate that Merlin offered a variety of majors and minors, and I started taking classes in everything that I found interesting. Eventually, Fumfrey and her academic advisors realized she could graduate with a Bachelor of Arts in Women's Studies and Bachelor of Science in Biology. She says the ability to uh, pursue both of my interests led me to medicine. When during my final year, I realized that medicine was a beautiful meddling of the humanities and sciences that I loved so much. Fun free we called. Being a Maryland student athlete is an honor that doesn't go away when you graduate. She says, during college, I love representing the University of Maryland and playing for the most successful lacrosse program in NCAA history. She also says, after graduating, I continue to feel like a representative of a Maryland student athlete, and I am proud to be an example of what a Maryland student athlete can do when supported. Katie Fumfrey became a Maryland student athlete on scholarships, which gave Fumfrey the ability to pursue the career that she fell in love with. She says, having a scholarship provided me with the opportunity to graduate college with minimal debt, which made applying to medical school far less overwhelming as most physicians graduate with approximately 200000 of debt from their medical education. Farfrey said. So after playing lacrosse and studying at Maryland from 04 to 09, Farfrey attended the Virginia Commonwealth University School of Medicine, earning Doctor of Medicine, MD, and Master of Health Administration, MHA degrees. She served as a leader of countless organizations, boards, and groups throughout her time at VCU, which earned her various scholarships and recognition. She is currently finishing her last year of pediatric residency at New York Presbyterian slash Will Cornell Medical Center 
and will go on to apply for a fellowship position in pediatric hospital medicine with the hope of becoming a physician leader. Farfree is extremely passionate about quality, safety, and affordability within children's health care. During her time at NYP Will Cornell Medical Center, Farfree has stayed involved in leadership roles, serving as the president of the Pediatric House Staff Council and chair of the Will Cornell House Staff Quality Council. She says, I partner with hospital leaders to improve the resident and patient experience, she said. Again, Farfrey has always enjoyed building relationships, meeting people, and helping people along the way. Working in the medical field has always allowed her to continue that the bonds she made at Maryland are ones that will last a lifetime. She says, I have so many fond memories from my time at Maryland because of the amazing people that I was surrounded by, Farfrey said. From coaches to teammates, I was supported and valued. Every day I was able to work towards a common goal with a group of women who challenged each other to do their best each and every day on the lacrosse field. And it was a lesson on how to be a team player and leader. This experience was priceless. Being a student athlete at Merlin was one of the best parts of Farfrey's life and it allowed her to attend medical school and also pursue a career that she could find success in. She said, being a Maryland student athlete is an honor that doesn't go away when you graduate, she said. During college, I loved representing the University of Maryland and playing for the most successful lacrosse program in NCAA history. After graduating, I continue to feel like a representative of a Maryland student athlete, and I am proud to be an example of what a Maryland student athlete can do when supported. The scholarship that she received is something that she will always be grateful for, but not just because it gave her the opportunity to play lacrosse for one of the nation's most coveted programs, but also because of what it led to after Maryland. The donations you made provided me with the flexibility to take a variety of classes and discover my passion for serving others and medicine, Farfrey said. She says, before college, I would have never guessed that I would become a physician, and I'm grateful for your support so I could discover my passion and purpose. At the end of the day, for Farfrey, the greatest thing about her time in College Park are the individuals that created a warm and welcoming environment. She says the special thing to her about Maryland is the people, she said. She says, I'm fortunate to have played lacrosse at the most successful women's lacrosse program in the country. However, I feel more fortunate to have found a group of women to support me throughout my life. Katie Farfrey, we wish you all the best in your endeavors of becoming a pediatric nurse. Thank you for your time at University of Maryland and Commonwealth of Virginia. We appreciate you very much. So moving on here. So uh, next story. The Villanova is adding Lloyd McLaughlin to its coaching staff as an assistant. McLaughlin is a Villanova alumnus who was previously coaching at Penn State. McLaughlin was a 2013 Villanova grad who was a team captain during her senior year. She worked as an intern for the school's athletic department and spent two years on staff with heads from coach Rick Simpson. Since her early Villanova years, McLaughlin coached for three years as an assistant at Georgetown University. She was there through the 2017 through 2018 season, coaching against Villanova in the Big East. She spent the past two seasons as an assistant coach at Penn in the Ivy League. Villanova has won seven straight Big East titles in women's swimming and diving. The Villanova men were fourth of five teams last year. Villanova PA a familiar face who has achieved a high level of success as an athlete and in the college at coaching ranks is returning to the Villanova swimming and diving program. Head coach Rick Simpson announced this week the hiring of Laura McLaughlin as an assistant coach to compete the Wildcats staff for the coming year. McLaughlin is a 2013 graduate of Villanova who previously worked on the team's coaching staff and administratively in the office of the athletic director. McLaughlin returns to her alma mater at a successful coaching stints at Georgetown and Penn. And I quote, we are excited to welcome Laura back home, Simpson said. He says, being a Villanova graduate, she is keenly aware of our family and team first philosophy and is herself a product of our program. Laura has a unique understanding of the nonsense of being a Wildcat student athlete, generally, and a Villanova swimmer specifically. 
She has a great appreciation for our emphasis on caring for our student athletes as people first and as athletes second. I am eagerly looking forward to having her back on staff, says Simpson. McGoffin spent the past two seasons as an assistant coach at Penn, where she worked with swimmers who combined to break 15 school records. She worked with Catherine Brooker, who was a two-time Ivy League champion and became only the second Quaker woman swimmer to qualify for multiple NCAA championships. On the men's side, McLaughlin helped Mark Andrew earn All-America honors with an 8th place NCAA finish and a 400 IM after he won Ivy League titles and the 200 breaths and the 40 IM. Prior to returning to the Philadelphia area, they lived in Westchester, PA. She spent three years as the lead assistant coach at Georgetown and mentored the team's strokes to unprecedented success. Her final season with the Hoyas was the 2017-18 campaign in which the women's team was the Big East runner-up to Villanova and the men's team tallied a third-place finish. Drew Carvin, a freshman on the team's men's team, was named the most outstanding men's swimmer at the meet after winning conference titles in the 2000 back and the 2000 IM to go along with the runner-up finish and the 100 back. Molly Fitzpatrick from the women's team posted an NCAA B standard in the 200 breast and was a double winner in the 100 breast and the 200 breasts to go along with a 6th place finish and the 200 IM. Georgetown was also selected as the CSCAA Scholar All-America team each of the three years that McLaughlin was on staff. As a Villanova student athlete, McLaughlin was a stroke specialist athlete with concentrations in the 100 and 200 breasts as well as the 400 IM. She was a team captain as a senior in 2012-13 and concluded her college at career of lifetime best performances in the 100 breasts, the 1.02.43, and the 200 breasts, 215.07, at the Big East Championships. She was an eight-time Big East scorer during her college career, including a top eight finish in the 200 breasts as a senior. Her career accomplishments also include being a two-year member of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee and a four-time selection to the Big East All-Academic Team. McLaughlin continued her success on USA Swimming Circuit, swimming in the 2012 Olympic Trials and making appearances at several U.S. Open Championships, USA Nationals, and U.S. Pro Series events. She achieved her Olympic Trials standard in the 100-meter breast, 111.78, during competition at the 2012 U.S. Pro Series meet in Columbus, Ohio. Following her graduation from Villanova, McLaughlin remained on campus and part of Villanova Athletics, as an aquatics intern and an intern in the office of the athletic director under former Wildcats athletic director and current Big East Deputy Commissioner Vince Nicastro. McLaughlin also spent two years on Simpson staff in 2013-14 and 2014-15, which marked the first two years in the current string of seven consecutive Big East titles for the Wildcats women's program. Her responsibilities included serving as a recruiting coordinator of the men's team and coordinating events for alumni and fans of Villanova swimming and diving. McLaughlin also managed to set up and break down of meets and special events in addition to supervising the lifeguards at the Villanova Swim Complex. McLaughlin graduated cum laude from Villanova in 2013 with a bachelor's degree in communication specializing in public relations. Jared Anderson swam for nearly 20 years. Then Jared Anderson stopped swimming and started writing about swimming. He's not, he's not sick of swimming yet. Swimming might be sick of him. Though Jarrett was a YMCA and high school swimmer in northern Minnesota and spent his college years swimming breaststroke and occasionally pretending. We wish you all the best, all the best, Laura McLaughlin, in your endeavors at Villanova and beyond. Well, I'm going to take a quick break, and when I get back, I'll be back with the college sports report to finish off the week here on E-Radio WMCR. I'll be back. 